Everyman Driver Nation, what's going on? Dave Erickson here, and with me this week, the 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited all-wheel drive, three-row passenger SUV, and we're doing a video blog and review. This really is the ultimate review. Today, we're gonna be covering tons of stuff. We're doing an off-road demo. I'm gonna show you some backseat legroom and headroom, cargo volume. You're gonna follow me as I go about my regular week, five days worth of content. Yes, you're gonna see me working out. The big dilemma I have here is, should I keep on doing these video blogs and reviews? This took a lot more work than I thought. If the video views aren't there, I'm gonna stop doing it. Never skip leg day. Gonna give you a Apple CarPlay demo. This is also Android Auto capable. I will give you a quick acceleration test. There's probably some other stuff too, but I can't think of it right now. So let's go ahead and kick off what's new for 2017 on this Hyundai Santa Fe. Here are some of the highlights. Redesigned front fascia with brushed appearance front grille and new headlight design. There is an enhanced rear fascia design with new taillights and new dual exhaust outlet design. Check out the new designs for the alloy wheels. There are 17, 18, and 19 inch available. We have a 19. As far as the powertrain, new standard drive mode select includes sport, eco, and normal modes. The interior features a standard 5-inch color LCD display audio system, new available 8-inch touchscreen navigation system, which we have here. When it comes to safety, standard rear view camera, new available multi-view camera system, which I will show you, new available smart cruise control with start-stop function, available lane departure warning, and finally, two new colors, nighttime blue for the Santa Fe Sport and storm blue for the Santa Fe, we have here Circuit Silver. Now, while this is the ultimate vlog and review, what I don't cover in this video will most certainly be on everymandriver.com. Let's get started. All right, let the vlogging begin. Here it is, 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited. And oh, oh look at this. I have the key fob on me. Didn't know this was a, a feature. Oh, I like that when it automatically opens up. So key fob is on me. I just put my hand in the door. How about I just press this? Now it's open. Right. Push button start. This is kind of like my just arrived videos because I'm doing this for the first time and we're doing the whole vlog series again. Major panoramic sunroof here. This is gorgeous. Here's a touch screen. It's like seven inches. 80s on eight, of course. USB port down here, heated and ventilated seats. Here's a look at your steering wheel mounted controls, usual suspects, Bluetooth technology over here, cruise control, instrument cluster, looks pretty straightforward with two main dials on either side with more information there on the LCD in the center. So officially this is what I have, a 2017 Santa Fe Limited Ultimate Edition all-wheel drive this has a 3.3 liter gdi engine v6 290 horses 252 pound feet of torque six-speed automatic transmission with shiftronic and 19 inch alloy wheels estimated fuel economy is 17 city 22 highway so hyundai is looking for that mixed driving number of 19 and i will do as much as i can in terms of driving highway and city throughout my week to give you an average. All right, let's pop it in reverse and go about our day. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, this great backup camera, which has one side of the screen is directly behind us. The other one is 360, so let's show you what that looks like. So here's what that backup camera looks like with the split screen. Uh, left side here, you can determine what angle you want, so I can go uh, just directly behind me, back and to the left, so there's the back and there's to the left, and then this should be back and to the right. I like to go to 360 so I see in the back and all views around the vehicle and it's a lot easier to see when you're backing up. This car feels somewhat substantial in terms of weight. I was in the Mitsubishi Outlander a couple weeks ago in Arizona in Scottsdale and that Outlander didn't really feel like it had a lot of weight behind it. This one does feel more sturdy, heavier. Let's do a brief acceleration test, see about those 290 ponies. It's in drive, make my way here, and then we're at uh, 15 miles per hour, punching it. A little over 6,000 RPM, that works. Short delay before it kicked in, and then um, worked out pretty well. So I was just looking at the 
sheet here, the spec sheet, and we have what they call the ultimate tech package. And in that tech package, uh, for an extra 2,100 is a lane departure warning. So that's what we had when I was uh, moving along just moments ago. I had a little warning there because I didn't signal and I was crossing a saw line in the roadway. Just back from a quick grocery stop, getting some food. Ooh, there's a warning that went off because a car went by and I couldn't quite see it in the uh, backup camera. So that's a uh, cross traffic alert. Always check your surroundings. Now I can't record on my phone and show you the Apple CarPlay, but I can tell you the Santa Fe is Apple CarPlay compatible. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you plug in your iPhone in the Apple CarPlay. So it's gonna take just a moment to go and then it'll show up here in the center display. There it is. Now this, all this information is what I would have seen on my phone. So now Apple CarPlay is there. As I mentioned before, this does have Android Auto capable uh, options as well. So now I can just slide between screens. I got Pandora, Stitcher, Audible, some of my books. I can listen to podcast episodes that I already have downloaded on my phone, which I really like because you can pause it and play from your phone hands-free, basically. Here's my phone icon, so I can press that and make a call if I wanted to or have maybe my passenger do that. At any point, I can go back to the, the normal center stack and all the infotainment screen information like the map by hitting the Hyundai and then it goes back to normal. So now I see the map, also see radio, and check out the other menu options here. I think you can see this out the back. Visibility is pretty good. In fact, there's a motorcyclist behind me. I think you can see his headlight there. So I have no concern with visibility throughout the vehicle. Um, I posted just before uh, I got back into the car a picture on my Instagram account. Cue the Instagram account which also went to my Facebook page, and someone asked, will you be taking this off-road? And the answer is, I don't know. Here's something I wanna share with you. I turned the vehicle off and my seat went back a few inches. Now when I put the vehicle back on, watch what my seat does. I slide up about two inches, I'm gonna turn it off. Maybe it's an inch or an inch or a half. Anyways, kind of nice little feature there as we wrap up this uh, first section of my video blog in the 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited um, all-wheel drive. Pizza Hut, stuffed crust pizza. Thank you, Hyundai. Oh, I'll lock it up. Good. Yes. All right. Anything else for you tonight? Nope. All right. Hey, Have thank a great you. night. Some of you have said in the past you want to see what a car looks like at night or when it's uh, dark. So here's all the graphics. Instrument cluster. All lit up like a Christmas tree. Thank you, Pizza Hut. You are not a sponsor, but you're welcome to be one. Santa Fe. And of course, where else am I going? It's a little after seven o'clock. Time to do legs. Because you never want to skip leg day, right? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Out down. I think I'll do some cardio later. I'm just a, I'm a fanatic about this stuff. Look at all that sugar. Look at all that sugar. It says non GMO, no added sugar. I can't imagine if they did add some sugar, it'd be way too much. I think I'll go with that. It's probably about 15 grams of sugar, just that little gulp right there. 
I really like how Hyundai has laid out the instrument cluster, which is right here, as well as the center stack. Uh, huge screen, easy to navigate with your hands. So touch screen, hitting different channels. I can switch it over to the map real easily. Great color graphics. Everything is uh, ergonomically correct where I put my hand down here for the shift knob, even though I don't have to worry about shifting it. Elbow sits nicely. I can see all the commands. The USB port is plugged into a perfect spot so I can see it. And of course, I'm a big fan of the panoramic sunroof. Okay, here's a quick look at your backseat legroom and headroom in the captain's chairs. And this, of course, was my position as a driver up front. And I've got plenty of space here for my knees, even an indent here, hard plastic, but you do have a container right there for, let's say you had an iPad, tablet, magazines, that kind of thing, and ventilated too. In fact, you have a heated middle row seats, which is kind of nice. And with this ultimate package, I've got these visors right there. Don't really need it today kind of cloudy pair of cup holders for the back two passengers nice little pass through right here which i will show you uh, getting into the uh, third row which is really tight i'm 511 oh headroom clearly not a problem fold these up this is won't be very easy for a bigger individual the cool thing about this middle row these captain chairs they do slide and they have some travel back and forth so you can give yourself some more room back here because as you can see the seat is up higher my knees actually the seat's lower which makes my knees higher i don't like that so really this is going to be a place for kids but i encourage you to fold these down i'll show you that with the cargo volume here in a second uh, even temperature controls back here how often do people use these do i feel like i'm pretty hyped maybe it's the caffeine let's move on this time we'll use the key fob to open the lift gate hold it down it opens up as you saw earlier Now these seats do fold down, which are pretty easy to do, pretty standard. Fold them down, and this is what I would recommend if you want to utilize the cargo volume in the back. Use those two seats for passengers and use this flat area for cargo. Even a little spot down here for a jacket and some additional cargo that you might want to hide from plain view. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Close it up right here. All right, Nation, you asked for it, so I thought I'd come out here to the ORV park and give you a quick, short demonstration of this all-wheel drive vehicle up a small incline and over some, um, some little whoop de doos So here we are, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over these little bumps and climb that little hill, because I think if you ever go off-road, you're not gonna do anything more extreme than this, most likely, in the Hyundai Santa Fe. So, Let's get going. All right, everyone, we are in position. I'll put it in drive. Now, there's a couple of options I can work with here. One is locking it into all-wheel drive. I think I'll just go normally right now to see how the car reacts. And we also have the option here to do a downhill brake control. Now, drive modes, there's eco, sport, and normal. We're gonna leave it into normal right now and turn off the downhill brake control because we're going up. So, over these little bumps here, watch how the vehicle goes. And now we'll just go straight ahead, give a little bit of acceleration and see how it handles up this hill. Good, speed control was nice. That worked out easily. Now a few more bumps and then we'll turn around and go downhill. Snow has yet to fall here in Spokane. Nice and slow, I don't wanna scrape anything. Good, good, good. I'll turn around and then we'll just uh, finish off our little sample here by going downhill and using that downhill control. This, by the way, as I'm looking at my notes here, uh, was voted by the Texas Auto Riders Association as a full-size CUV of Texas. So that's a nice little um, award and recognition for the Santa Fe. All right, we'll find our spot. I need to see where I'm going. Okay. So now I will press it into downhill brake controls on. So I think I'll take my foot off the, the accelerator and the vehicle kind of adjust the speed. So I, have, I didn't have my foot on the gas 
and the vehicle control itself on the way down. I think I want to do that one more time just to showcase what that does. So let's just go back up. Bonus. <laughs> that was about seven miles per hour. That was somewhat steep. Steeper than what you'll do on a regular weekend, I assume. Okay. Again, we're still in all-wheel control. All-wheel all drive is locked. Now, downhill control, take my foot off the accelerator and let the vehicle slow itself down on its own. So, there it goes. I just felt it's engaged right now. And it's keeping it at just under five miles per hour going downhill with that engaged. Very nice, well done. So there you go, everyone. That's going to conclude our off-road demo in the Santa Fe. That should be enough, right? Let's move on. Okay, everyone, this is my last day with the Santa Fe. So I'm gonna give you some numbers today. I'm gonna give you some fuel economy numbers as I go to the gym. Today's leg day, by the way. <laughs> Every day's leg day. All right. So statistically, I had driven just under 100 miles this week. I was planning to do another 150 on the highway, but I had a job that got canceled, so I couldn't do my road trip. And now today is the day I have to return the vehicle. So I've driven just about 100 miles. I still have 240 miles on my range. And my average, again, 17 city, 21 highway is what the projected EPA is on miles per gallon. Hyundai wants 19 for the mixed driving number. I've only averaged 15 miles per gallon in mixed driving. But again, all that has been city. And I have we are up this riveting vlog and review with a breaking miles per gallon update. I just got back from running an errand and this errand took me another 40 miles, which now has adjusted our miles per gallon for the week. So now we're looking at 138.4 miles and that takes us to 177 mile range left and 16.2 miles per gallon. So we've increased our miles per gallon by over one just by going an additional 40 miles. We now return you to your regularly scheduled vlog and review. Well, I hope you enjoyed sitting through that ultimate video blog and review of the 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited all-wheel drive. That was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Now I need you guys to comment below, more of this or less of this? More vlogs, more reviews. It's up to you. This channel is all about catering to what you want. And I need more video views and more subscribers. The more views, the more subscribers, the more cool cars I get. So please help me and we can help each other. That's all I got for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dave Erickson. Have a great one. Adios.